ready? No. <laughs> you grab my too. Alright, it's time to go fishing. One? Yeah, how many big cats do we need? We're just here, I'm just here having a conversation with Dar Sizzle about what we're doing today. I was saying, Darcy, Darcy's not a morning person. Yeah, I think we need to work a little bit, a little tad bit on how long it takes her to get conversational in the morning. Said Brian's too happy in the morning, he needs to tone it down. A little more balance, I guess. I gotta tone it down, and she needs to tone it up. Now, what are we doing today, Dar Sizzle? Fishing. Gonna target all types of species. Hopefully we just catch one. Our friend did good yesterday, but that doesn't mean anything about today. We're going to Snook Islands here in Lake Worth. Have you ever heard of it? Let's go. All right, just stopping to get some live shrimp and then we're right down to the ramp. All right, we're at Snook Islands now. I've already thrown a couple lures, lost a couple lures, but little Cuda in the boat. See my little twitch bait here? I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch out for these kudas and make sure I don't lose all my favorite fishing lures today. Ryan's saving my lure. All oyster beds here and a ton of rocks and it's super shallow. So almost every time you cast, you get stuck. I'm wading over here and I'm gonna be doing this a lot today, I think. It's a good opportunity to show you my soft science shoes. You see, it gets stuck on all these oyster beds. Okay, first cast, Darcy lost a $20 spool tag lure. I am waiting though, so if you guys want to see some wade fishing, woohoo! Too late for that. What is that, Sizzle? Tell them on top water. On top water, they see it. Mangrove, nice little mangrove. This is too small, right? Yeah. Sorry you guys missed it, but I had a really nice little hit, man. It's a nice snook. You got him. I'll take it. On my gambler lures, big easy, of course. Catching snook at Snook Island. Okay. I gotcha. Nice. Gorgeous snook. Check him out. This guy, he hit it really hard. My gambler lure is in his mouth right here. That is the ghost shad color, I believe. It's like I go from one shot being clothed to not. Going home. Woo, she is ready. No, let go. <laughs> she won't let go of my, literally won't let go of my phone. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Nice snook on the bait caster. Woo! Here you go, Sizzle. Ooh, he is aggressive and he's got some troubles in him. Okay, little guy. Let's pull him in the boat. Nice little snook for me on a little twitch bait top or a water. top water. Lou's bait caster, I was using a bass yesterday, using it for top waters today. I'm pretty excited, pretty good. It's fun on the bait caster. I think a little bigger than our sizzles, what do you guys think? Let let him go. Ah, he bite my, these guys are bitey over here. Woo! Let's get some more. Eat it, sheephead. I got a fish, what do I got? Is it sheephead? Oh, a live shrimp. Oh, I got a jack, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was something better than a jack. Now I gotta get him off. So I want to show you this bobber situation we're using today. Look what I got here. It makes it easier to cast. I got the hook, and I got a little weight on here. Sliding bobber, you see that? And then a bead, and a uni knot. Now this little bead stops at the knot, then stops my bobber. See, so my bobber can't go up any further. It's all the way down here, so I can cast it nice and easy. If you ever cast it like a two foot leader with a bobber on, you know it's hard. Your bait just goes down, boodle, boodle, boodle. it goes close down, and then you get up to this knot, and it stays. It's really nice little floating rig. They do this a lot on the west coast. Now, if you had a mullet or a bait fish on there, it would just swim and work real good. We got, we're using shrimp, so we put a little weight on there so it would get down, you know, so the it would separate from the bob a little better. But that's a nice little rig. Do you guys know how to catch fiddler crabs? Yeah. Do you know? Because <laughs> I need to catch some big old convicts, aka sheep's head. <laughs> yeah, we're over here at Beer Can Island. See how clear this water is? The hot water's clear. coming in from the it's inlet. Never this clear. What is it, January 25th or some ridiculous, ridiculous day like that? These kudas over here, they're small guys, but they're all over the place. Look what they did to this gambler or soft plastic.
Boat drifted away. Too busy filming it for you guys because it's so exciting. There's the boat. It's getting too deep for me. It's I'm getting too pitch. deep for you. I gotta fish. See this, guys? Ugh. And it's not doing his manly duties, guys. Make me a sandwich. Shame, shame. Going fishing. I think that current will lift up the snow. You gotta be careful here, I gotta go through these sharp things. Ouch! Put it. Push it off the flat first. Push it off the flat first. We'll drift. We're stuck. We were drifting before. Especially when you hit the boat when I drift. Did you hear what you just said, Net, with me and the boat when I drifting? I'm getting it from both ends these days, guys. This brings up a topic that's very important around here. And it's my weight. I'm very fat. Some dude emailed no. us the other day, no. about five days ago now, going on and on about how I'm getting fatter and fatter. Yes! And the f first he went on about how Darcy's going to leave me if I get any if I get fatter. I'm not going to be able to make videos. Didn't read it all. Because it looked like it was ending in my early demise. Alright, listen. Darcy, I mostly need to exercise. Darcy needs to, she needs to work out and I need to work out and we all do. I need more than her, of course. Especially dieting. No, this is interesting. Come over here, Sizzle. Let me get the sun on us. You might not look it right now, but I worked out a lot. Like 45 years, I'm like a personal trainer and like I've done CrossFit for years. They're not gonna believe me. They're not gonna believe me. But anyway, I know how to work out. I know I've, I know a lot about it, all right? Uh, and I, I, I worked out literally until I started hanging out with Darcy. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy and confident and in a loving relationship, so I wasn't so uh, tied up with my ego as, as sometimes you excessively work out, which I did. Do you guys want to see some workout stuff on the on here? There's not, not, not a full-time workout channel, but some fitness stuff. Comment below, and when we start getting into that, we'll add it a little bit to the vlog. Mainly it's going to be how, uh, you know, a 49-year-old fat guy loses a little bit of weight. You know, it's not going to be, you know, too much about how a gorgeous 27-year-old girl uh, just looks more gorgeous. Um, anyway, comment below. Oyster beds. Woo. All right, this fish took a little run, but we had a nice day of fishing so far. It's still catching more fish. Using my new hand to rod. We like this big butt. Look how long this butt is. Yeah, and She can perfect. really use it for her bikini fishing. Look at that. Yeah. Really nice. Perfect rod. Hand it to me. I'll reel it in. He's close. Oh, he's underneath. Got my favorite little snook lure. Catching jacks on the side. That's a nice fish. Move out that way. Let's stop, but we're gonna get spooled. We're gonna get spooled. We're gonna get spooled. Reel up two lines. Get the line on this fish. He's way out there. Oh my god. Okay, he's out in the middle now. We're good. We're good now. You getting line back? Yeah, now he's coming in now. He took a good run. Look at my reel. He almost spooled it. The drag pretty tight. None. I don't have a little bit of drag on that thing. Just having a nice conversation and the rod just doubled over. Got the sun going down and we decided to do some last minute trolling. And now I'm getting line on this fish and he's just doing circles around the boat. I feel like it's a big old jack. I can feel him swimming right now. But it might be a snook, you never know. Oh, it's a big jack, okay. He is yeah. shaking. How big is it? Woo. Woo. Oh, he's a big jack. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Oh, oh. He wants to stay deep. My, uh, I'll get him. You're going to have to grab him, but you can check my... I will my, grab him. You check my, now, where is he? Uh, I'll get him. You're going to have to grab him, but you can check I will my, grab him. Let's grab, no, grab his tail. This is a nice fish. Woo! That's a jack. <laughs> Check out this fish, guys! <laughs> He's beautiful. He's talking to you too. He wants to go home. You guys fight so hard. I know I've talked about it in previous videos. A lot of people call them trash fish, but really, they're like one of the hardest fighters in the ocean. And he was right by the boat for a good five minutes, and he was just staying down. He would not come up. So my favorite snook lure, perfectly in his mouth, and about ten pounds. Changed once again, as you can see. Took some pictures with this fish. Where you gonna go? Here it goes. Bye, buddy. Nice. He just smoked this thing. 
Whoa! Trolling that worm hook rigged up with the Gambler Lures, Ghost Shad, Big Easy, soft plastic. But I saw the big boil and I saw this rod double over. Like, awesome. Gambler Lure doing work. It's so awesome when fish hit it like so close to the boat like that, like 20 feet behind the boat and then take a smoke and run. You guys gotta try a g Gambler Lures. This is awesome. I personally, in my opinion, the Ghost Shad color is probably a good color to start with. Awesome fish. So show you them, check them out. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. We had an excellent day of inshore saltwater fishing. Bye guys. We caught an assortment of fish. We got two slugs this morning. Brian caught that mangrove, mangrove uh, snapper. We also got some jacks, caught some barracudas, and just had an excellent day in beautiful South Florida in the middle of January. So awesome. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for us. Subscribe to our channel. We have new videos every single week. And our next video will be crappie, aka crappie, aka speck fishing, whatever you guys want to call it, that's what I'm doing. I'm going crappie fishing, super excited, going on Lake Okeechobee, and hopefully we'll catch a lot of nice specks. Crappie, crappie. All right, all right guys, until our next adventure, follow your dream, keep on catching.